So now for the most part, we are completely set up in the platform. There's a few other things we could do if we wanted before we actually started contacting people. We could go into our message templates and add some text message templates or add some email templates. These are pre-formatted templates that we're going to be able to use over and over again. We could go into our IVR and we could create a new IVR, an options menu. Thanks for calling Chase Bank. For sales, press 1. For customer support, press 2. That's what an IVR is like. Another example is, hey, this is John. We had a call scheduled for this time. If you'd like to have the call right now, press 1. If you need to reschedule, press 2. That's another example of an IVR. That's a really good one that you could use as an outbound IVR to schedule calls that you had scheduled. You could also go into your autoresponder and create your actual autoresponder. Your autoresponder will basically read the incoming text messages and uh, and reply accordingly. So you could set up an autoresponder that will go in and look for messages that say, what is your name? And then you could auto re reply to those with my name is John. All those things we're gonna show you in later videos. So to really get started now that we have everything set up, we first need some contacts. We need some leads to send out text messages or make phone calls to or even send emails to. So in order to get those leads, we're first gonna go in and we're gonna create a new list to put our leads on. So I'm just going to create a test list to show you how you do that. It's that simple. You just go into your dashboard you just go into your dashboard and you hit add list and that will bring you to the screen where you can actually add your list and you just give a list name and description and then that will bring you to this page where you can go in and edit your list or view your list. So let's add a new list. We're just going to call that demo. And we're just going to create that list real quick. So now we've got our demo list. Let's go view this list and we can see we've got an empty list here. So now let's go ahead and add our first lead to this list. We'll just add John Vaughn. He's from the company tier five. Not going to give his website. We are going to give his phone 812-820. No, sorry. 722-4722. So, and we're also going to give his email address, john at thinkvaughn.com. We don't need to give his address. So now we're just going to create that. We're just going to create that lead. So now we can see we've got that lead on our list. And now we can go in and begin communicating with him. So now we can also upload a lead list as well. So to show you how to do that, I'm just going to go get a lead list from another platform where I can go and find leads easily. Here I can find domain leads. You can also do this inside the and right inside our platform which we'll also show you on a later video so here i'm just going to go in and do a search real quick for newly registered domain leads that were registered on let's say this date right here and let's go ahead and run that search and find our find our leads so We'll just wait for a second for this to find our leads. While we're here, I'll just go ahead and show you what you're gonna do. You're just gonna upload your file here. Uh, and here we go, we've got a bunch of leads. So I'm gonna select these guys and I'm gonna export them. Now I've selected them and I've exported them. So now I'm just gonna drag that file and I'm going to upload them here. So if you know what types of phone numbers these are, you can just say, I want to validate. And then you can tell us that, hey, these are all mobile phone numbers or these are all landline or these are all VoIP. If you're not sure what type of phone numbers they are and you want us to validate on our end, just leave this box unchecked. We'll validate the numbers and tell you what kind of phone numbers they are. So let's just now store and import those numbers. And that's just gonna take just a few seconds to go in and read that file, store and import. You see, we just uploaded those 10 numbers and now you can see we have all these leads on our list. So now that we have leads on our list, we can go in and actually start to contact them either by making a call or doing a browser dialer, or sending a text message or a multimedia message or an email. We can even go in and move these guys from one list to another. We can move or copy them 
to our other list, which was our test list. So now we can segment those guys out. So that's it. That's how you go in and create your list and then go in and add leads and contacts to that list. You can also delete them um, one by one or delete them in bulk or just delete the entire list. And just like I said, remember, you can go into any contact and you can go in and copy them or move them to another list so that you can keep your leads segmented from lead from list to list. So that's it on lists. Um, and now we're going to move on to the next thing, which is going to be your contacts and leads and talk about them um, in the next video.